We all know about the Wright brothers as the aviation pioneers in the end of 1903. They invented the world's first successful motor operated airplane. What would you say if we tell you that eight years before the Wright brothers, around 3,000 people, including the British, witnessed an unmanned aircraft at Bombay Chopati? We talk about Bemanika Shastra or the science of aeronautics in this video. Rishi Bharadwaj, one of the Saptarishis, deals with the science of aeronautics, explaining the construction, diagrams and section views of several types of airplanes. He does this in work called Yantra Sarvaswa in 8 chapters, 100 subject heads comprising of 500 sutras and 3000 shlokas. Vimans have been mentioned in the Rigved, Yajurved, Ramayan and Mahabharat. It's said that before World War I, Pandit Subbarya Sastari dictated some unknown texts of Sanskrit and credited Rishi Bharadwaj for it. In 1928, he wrote a letter to the Maharaja of Darbhanga, requesting aid to publish these manuscripts. But this fell on deaf ears. Subbarya Sastari, completely heartbroken, soon passed away. It was around 20 years later, his adopted son released these manuscripts. In 1951, Mr. G. R. Josia, Director of International Academy of Sanskrit Research, translated the handwritten Sanskrit manuscripts of Pandit Subbarya Sastri to English. If these scripts came into limelight only in 1951, then how did someone at Bombay Chopati fly an unmanned airplane eight years before the Wright brothers? In September 1952, an article published in an issue of Vande Matram, Gujarati Daily, mentioned an experimental airplane by a man called Shivkar Bapuji Talpade. A similar article appeared in a Pune newspaper under the caption First Inventor of Airplanes. Shivkar Talpade, born in 1864, a Sanskrit scholar living in Bombay, was fascinated by the aeronautical science of Vemaik Shastra. He flew his first unmanned flight and named it as Marut Sakha, which means the friend of the winds. Marut Sakha flew to a height of 1,500 feet before crashing down, whereas the aircraft designed by the Wright brothers flew only to a height of 120 feet. A news article was published in Kesri, a popular newspaper by Lokmane Tilak, covering the entire event. Some major celebrated people like Mahadev Govind Ranade and Sayajirav Gaikwad, the Maharaja of Baroda witnessed this live event. The British were highly disappointed by Talpade's efforts and hence ordered the Maharaja of Baroda not to help Talpade financially to build more such aircrafts. Failing to do so, the British would snatch the kingdom of Maharaja of Baroda. Unfortunately, Due to the death of his wife and limited resources, he couldn't continue the research and he soon died thereafter. In April 2017, an aerospace engineer, Mr. Travis Taylor conducted an experiment in University of California at Irvine based on the designs mentioned in Vemanik Shastra. This experiment showed that not only the aircraft was steady under heavy winds but the design would positively work and the machine could fly. Are we so unfortunate that we Indians still can't recognize and celebrate Shivkar Bapuji Talpade and his invention?